Wow, this is amazing. I just want to make mention of the fact that uh, this is the fifth time we have run Veterans Day celebration. And uh, when we started five years ago, first time, we had 12 people, 12 veterans with us. To be able to honor all of you today is a great honor for all of us here at LOHS. So veterans, thank you. If we would all stand for the playing of our national anthem, led by our band, Mr. Richter, the play is up front. Mr. Richter. Good morning, everyone. It is my honor as principal of Lincoln High School to receive our honored guest, veteran of the Armed Services. With humility and gratitude on this day of celebration, set aside each year to honor your service to our country and to all of us. With that, I thank you. Here's just a little history of myself. I would state this because I'm very proud of the uh, era. I'm the grandson of a World War I, World War II vet, the son and nephew of four World War II veterans, the brother-in-law of a Korean vet, brother-in-law of a three-time tour, 82nd Airborne Vietnam vet, the brother of an Army vet, and I'm the proud uncle of two Army soldiers who have served six combined tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. One has been medical discharge, and the other one is now in Korea. To them. I understand loss and sacrifice and thankfulness, and with that, I thank you for all the service you have given us. Let me introduce our student council president, Jennifer Bauer, a senior here at Conway Jazz, who will introduce our first speaker. Most of you have no idea what 
lose that. Um, I went to a Catholic school for 12 years. I ate vegetables. I remember that. I ate vegetables. Uh, would not eat my vegetables at home. Um, often try to find a sneaky way to get into the dog or flush it down the toilet. Um, because we weren't allowed to leave the table until we finished them all. And at that time in my life, I thought anywhere would be better than where I was, which was a small town, a little over 100 students at the school. I wanted to be out of there. Okay. Flash forward to 1968, I went in, uh, went to Vietnam on October 12th. I'll never forget that day because I had a daughter that was born on October 12th. I never got to see her. Uh, I did when I got home. I thought I'd be allowed to go home and see her uh, at the time. I joined the Army because my dad was a writer in the Army. And I wanted him to be proud of me. And once we got in the Army and we were in basic training, welcome to Fort Leonard Wood, uh, we were told that we were going to save the world from communism. That's what I was told, the group that I was in. And uh, I know my dad was a World War II veteran. We have some World War II veterans here. We definitely did something very important to uh, stop the spread of Nazism uh, throughout the world. I wanted to do something equally uh, important. So when I was told that we were going to stop communism from spreading throughout the world, I think yes, yes, my dad came out of it. Because we would also be doing something very important. Uh, it was about six weeks into our uh, basic training at that time, it was eight weeks. And um, we had spent a couple of days cleaning our barracks uh, and literally, really doing it with toothbrushes and everything, you know, that it was like. And we were going to go out that night and we were going to do a low crawl under barbed wire, uh, live fire overheads in, in the mud. And we knew that when we came back to the barracks that we had to keep it clean, so we had hoses set up, we had towels, we had clean socks, we had clean up outside, but we were not going to get fooled into getting it all dirty and having to clean it once again. Um, so we made it back, uh, got back into our bunks about 5.15. About 5.30, the guys, the drill instructors came through and uh, got us all out of bed. We were going for a 20-mile march. 